Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. So guys, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this flyer. So and if you're also looking to advance in Photoshop, I do have a Skillshare course. I will put a link to that in the description below so you can join me on Skillshare. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is that we want to set our background. So I'm going to click on my adjustment and we are going to click on gradient. Now with the gradient dialog box, we want to create a two tone from a black to a red. So we are going to click on our basic and we are going to choose the black. Now we're going to click on our far end and pick the white, click on it. Now we want to set that to a red because we're trying to do a Christmassy theme. So I'm going to go ahead to click OK and OK to just close it off. Now, before we move any further, I want to bring in the subject. So I'm going to drag and drop this image in. So if you want to take off the background of the subject, you want to go up to your property look for quick action now if you don't see quick action you need to click on convert to layers once we are able to convert our image into a smart object now when you go back to your property and you go under quick action you can click on remove background now photoshop does a good job to take off the background for you now i'm going to pick up my lasso tool because I want to get rid of this little area that is showing, which is part of the background. Now I'm going to click on my layer max thumbnail, pick up my brush tool, flip my foreground to black. We know that black hides white reveals. Now I'm going to go ahead to paint in this area, command D to D select. I'm going to zoom out. And what we have is good enough. So I'm going to go ahead to move our subject and I'm going to go ahead to scale him a little bit bigger. I'm going to set him right there. So with this set, we want to go ahead and bring in the background image that we want to apply. So we are going to drag and drop this image in, double click to accept. Now we need to put this image behind our subject. So you want to go into your layer style, drag that layer below the subject layer. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to blend in top image with our background. So we're going to add a layer max to our background. Pick your brush tool. You want to go ahead and paint, but notice that it's giving you sharp edges. We don't want that. So you want to right click and you want to make sure your brush hardness is set to zero. Now, when we brush, you notice that it gives us a very smooth transition, and that is basically what we want. So the next thing we want to do is begin to type in the theme of our flyer. So I'm going to pick up my type tool, and I'm going to use the Ama Reload font, and I'm going to go ahead and just type in M. I'm going to highlight just the first alphabet and I'm going to make it 120, make it a little bit bigger than the rest of the font. Now I'm going to go ahead to pick up my font once again and I'm going to go ahead to use another font which is the Duba Tall and I'm just going to go ahead and type in Christmas. And I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to move that and set that right there. So we have something like this. Now we can go ahead and move this down a little if it's too much, or we can go ahead and scale it down just a little like that. With this set, we want to go ahead and type in the name of the church. So I'm going to reduce my font. Scale it down and set that right there. Now to space it up, go under your property, click on the V, V A, and that will space it out for you. And we want to go ahead and set that right there. I'm going to go ahead to increase my Christmas a little and decrease my 
font name for the church and I'm gonna set that right there so we have something like this now you can go ahead and reduce this a little so with this set we want to go ahead and add a little bit more of a goldish color to our font so I'm going to click on my encounter double click on the layer to bring up the layer style now we want to go ahead and add the bevel and boss we want to add a contour go ahead and add an overlay and we will add a drop shadow as well as texture now in my bevel and boss I'm using the style in a bevel my technique is smooth and my depth is around 251 percent I have my direction up and my size is around 205 now notice my angle is at 90 and altitude is at 30. Now, if you go under the contour, I basically have this simple contour. Now I added a bit of a texture in the pattern that we already have in Photoshop. I have my scale at 942. Now I can increase it or decrease it depending on how much thickness of the texture I want enhance. I added a color overlook. So I added a gold-ish color. You can choose whichever color you want and then I added a drop shadow now my blend mode is on normal and my opacity is around 85 now with this set we are going to go ahead to click OK and I want to add just a drop shadow to the Christmas so I'm going to double click on it just click on the drop shadow It's going to apply the same effect go ahead and click OK. A Malfico font, and I'm going to type in service. And I'm going to go ahead and move this and set that right here. The next thing we want to do is to add in the date and time of event. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my font tool, and I'm going to go ahead and type in 25 highlights. I'm going to make this century gothic and make this bold and highlight and I'm going to go ahead and set that somewhere here I'm going to set that somewhere here and I'm going to go ahead and reduce it now I'm going to go ahead and add in a shape I'm going to draw in a little shape and then I'm going to go to my fill, fill that in with a blue. So I'm going to first of all select my font and I'm going to type in December. I'm going to move that and set that below. I'm going to go ahead and move that, make it a little bit bigger move that and set that right in here so at this point we want to go ahead and bring in some uh, bokeh effect so i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop in some bokeh and i'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so we'll change the blend mode of this layer to screen and i'm going to go ahead to just make it a lot bigger and I'm going to set that right here. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm going to take it down so it's not too visible. But at the same time, we can still enjoy it. Now, I want to go ahead and I'm going to add, I'm going to add a layer max, pick up my brush tool and I'm going to go ahead to paint a few areas to hide portions that we don't need. So with this set, I'm going to go ahead to bring in one more bokeh effect, and I'm going to make that bigger too. Double click, and then change the blend mode to screen, and then I'm going to move that and set that below, just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead to reduce the op opacity of this as well. And I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here. Now I'm going to make another copy, Command J, because I'm going to move that somewhere here. So with this one, I'm going to add a layer max, pick up my brush tool, 
and I'm going to go ahead and erase this portion so it's not too much on this side. I'm going to click on the other copy that we made, add a layer max, and we are going to go ahead and erase some portion so that it's not too much on this side as well. So with this said, we want to go ahead and click on our subject layer and we want to make sure we click on the image thumbnail, go under image and then you want to go under adjustment. You want to choose the brightness and contrast. Now we want to take in the contrast a little and we want to reduce the brightness. So I just brought in this lens flare effect i'm going to turn it in a diagonal and i'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode of this we are going to click on it and change the blend mode to screen now you notice that you only see this you only see the light source but there are still a bit of the outline that you see so we will add a layer max and then we want to go ahead and pick up our brush tool with our foreground as black. We want to go ahead and just brush around it to just clean it off so that we just have the light and nothing else. So with this set, we want to go ahead and then begin to place our light source in different areas j and we are going to go ahead and move that light source and we are going to make sure that these light sources are above everything else so we are dragging all those layers on top and i'm going to make another copy of this command j make a copy and we are going to set that one right there i'm going to make another copy and another copy and i'm going to move that and set that right there so with this set we can finish this off with a camera raw effect so click on your top layer hold down shift option command e make one file now you want to go under your filter and then choose camera raw filter now with this we can take the temperature back if we want to do that we can increase the contrast to give it that boost now we can go ahead and increase our vibrance if we want it a little bit more richer so once you're satisfied go ahead and click ok so guys you can see that the difference is not that much this is more um, like red orange and this is more a deeper Christmas red it's really not much of a difference but I wanted to show you both so you can make your own decision on which one you like the best. So guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, let others also get to know about it. Also subscribe if you don't, if you already haven't subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss up on any other uploads that I do. Bye y'all.